<laughs> Looks like you see better with the red. <laughs> oh, uh, there we go. This is uh, another view. We got a bear in the woods, and we got some coyotes and wolves and black bears, which is rare, but we got them. There you go. Look at that view down there. I don't know if you can see anything with this camera, but huh? You follow dog. Dog knows where he's going. Yeah, so Alright, well, here's your other view. From where we at now, you can see beautiful, it's going to be a beautiful sunrise in this location. So stuff to light and see. I don't. I doubt you can see anything, but tree lines are out there. And it looks beautiful. If I had some beautiful clouds, we have some beautiful sunrises. And I can't wait to show you. All right, this is one of your views. Well, stop. There you go. Found the campsite. Uh, we gotta figure out which way to go. Alright, we got. We found another campsite. Another view. And there you go. You think burn this tree down? Yeah. All the way up? Do you know they do burn the forest? They burn. Oh, there's a campsite and one burned tree next to the Yeah, which is poor tree. Looks like they chopped it too. Alright, well, let's we'll see where we're going. Yeah, it's on top of the hill. All right, there's your view. Another view. But there's Doric. He's way out there. Well, you can see this bright red orange from the morning. Oh, the sun's gonna pop over there. It's another view. And there's the moon, a pretty moon. There's a big open field that we're in. You can go. We want to take a break. Another view. And we got a beautiful sunrise right above that hill right there. Yeah. And we got a bear. Damn, I can see it pretty good. Yeah. <sighs> We gotta do a movie.
there's the first sun over the hill. We're in like a savanna area. There's two giant boulder mounds right there. The first boulder field and savanna. What a beautiful shot. I'm glad y'all came out here and enjoyed this with us. Here comes the sun. We can have five sunrises in five seconds. So you go up here and you see the sunrise, then you go down five feet and you see the sunrise again. Then you go down another five feet and you see the sunrise again. So you have like five sunrises. And look at this turkey bird. Turkey bird. Really, he's a bear. Poor bear. <sighs> and we got a dirk. I need to water him. Poor water dirk. All right, well, there's your sunrise. From what I'm seeing, we got to go up that darn hill right there, and it's pretty big. Gee, I feel sorry for Bear and Bowie and Ranger Cookie. Poor Cookie. Yep, it's going that way. Why did they take it around? Backbone trail runs bridges. So backbone just up and down the backbone. This must be the shoulder blade. Mm. Oh, well, we'll hell of a shoulder blade. Well, here you have another view. We did pass a camp up. We didn't, it was off this trail and we didn't feel like walking to it. Even though it was like 10 feet away. <laughs> we didn't want to walk to it. We did enough walking. Six hours yesterday. And so far, two since we got up this morning. Alright, well, there's your view. Well, it's getting brighter and brighter. And another view. Too bad they don't have clouds. Well, we finally made it to the end. Hey, you know this is Kasachi Hills. That explains all the hills there were. Yeah. Oh, we did it. Thanks for hiking. Backpacking with the Cougar. Next time, carry our bags next time. Yeah, porters. I mean, we'll give you one MRE. You can carry yourself. <laughs> all right, well, our last view. Oh, look at the gazebo. I wish it was a gazebo. Oh, let's see what this size says and see them. Okay. Okay. We started here and we go here. We found the camp right there. And we went, 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 went. We this road. Well, not a trail. And we went here. And then we camped here. Then we went to here. That's what we did. And the time is? 6.50. 6.50, that means one hour walk, 12, 11 hours, I'm sorry, six, seven hours of walking. Yep, we finally made it to the end. Now I'm going to throw my bag on the ground and I'm going to hide it. I'm going to walk to my car while all this wait and come back and pick this thing up. Then I'm going to see how much water I, I drank and show you. Uh, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to show you how much water I drank. 
And how much food? Not much. I didn't eat much food. One can of uh, chicken. Then I used the can as a water bowl for my dog. Where he is at? There he is. Then... Uh, a uh, little bitty cracker thing and some other little snacks and I made it to the circle look it's a bathroom let's take a look around real quick And there you go, there's the signs and some more signs over here. The three twenty nine natural forest. I know what that means, but I'm going to find out what that building is. Then we got to walk that road. But I'm going to leave my gear somewhere else. You know what? I'm going to leave my gear right over here. In this, this little circle. Alright, see you in a few seconds. Oh man, taking that bag off. And get the walk without that bag. Oh, I know how he does it. Well, my trip, I'm going to give it, let's say, uh, five stars. Okay, five stars. In the five stars, trail markers, it was okay. I mean, we could have had more trail markers in different locations, but it was well marked. Uh, up and down of hills, I would give it a three star. It's all right. It was... Uh, Equivalent to uh, a nice walk. It wasn't too much high. It was just one or two spaces with high and low areas. And here's another. So we over here now. I think I don't know where we at. Uh, there you go. Uh, yeah, we could have took the Trainbone Hill Trail that got back out too, but we've been further away from the from the vehicle. And over here is the same size. Oh, it's a horse. Okay. Holy crap. It's another trail. Starts here. And ends over here. You can do that. Let's see. It's only seven miles. Holy crap. That's the backbone. We did the backbone seven miles. We felt like a hundred. And... What is this trail? I know, but there's the trail markers for all the trails. All right. That's it for me. I just backpacked with my 101 year old canteen cup. Tell that again to the people. I just backpacked with my 101 year old canteen cup. It's stamped 1918 and it's 1919. Did I use it last night? No, but it went to Louisiana. <laughs> Look, maps and information are available. Cookie, uh, you think this is enough bear spray? That's enough bear spray. Okay, I was worried. <laughs> you, did you see any bears? Just mine. How many wolves and coyotes? I don't know, there's like 15 to 30 out there, the usual. Me and Dog, we did a howl, we had some wolves or coyotes. I think wolves, the way they sound. 
All right, here's the other map we didn't see. Here's 49. But we did seven miles. And like I said, it was well marked. Damn, we way up here. This is where we came from. Oh, wow, lovely. All right, enough of this sign. Turlet with no water and the parking lot with no people. Well, the road to the truck should be about two miles. I gave it about two miles to two to three miles to get there and show you some views. It was a campsite not far from this starting point over this side. It was on a nice ridge, but why was somebody camping the sun? I never know. I, I don't never get that. But I guess some people just love the heat. All right, I'm Ranger Kiki, and this is uh, the road to home or home to the truck. Then we go to a campsite, and we go to lighten our load really light, and we go go into the woods and find a, maybe a spot and camp there for a night. All right, I'm Ranger Kiki. That's Dirk and that's Bear back there. Bear. All right, the road home or home, road uh, to the truck. No dirt. I, I knew this is going to happen again. Right there. Poor dirt. Alright. I'll show you another view in a few seconds. Here's another view. We're still walking on the road. It's 730. It's about 8 o'clock now. About 8, 9 o'clock. 8 o'clock. Uh, what time we started? I forgot to time it. Uh, 7.52. Is when we started? Yeah. Crap, I didn't check. Yeah. All right, car coming. Let's see, come on. Oh, he's fast too. <laughs> All right, here's another view. We were in that area last night traveling. As wolves, poor wolves, and a bear. Poor bear. Hi, you too. I, you. <laughs> I scared him last night when I howled to my brothers and sisters. No, that was you shirtless. Oh. <laughs> that was the usual. <laughs> All right. See you next view. Well, here's a crazy question. America's asphalt is made out of old tires. I wonder how many tires they did so far to make all the asphalt in America. There's a question for you. What's you just Google it? Somebody Google it and find me the answer. How many tires would take this to do a uh, uh, let's say a 10 by 10 square? That will answer our questions, and then we have to go by the road. How many roads there in America that's been paid? Damn, that's a lot. Jeez, that's a lot of tires. Think about it. Well, that's a thought for us. Oh, I'm Ranger Kiki, and that's Dirk, and there's Bear. So what you think? How many tires in five? Uh, I'm going to guess 47 billion tires. And 47 what? billion to do the entire USA. Okay, how about 10 by 10 uh, uh, floor mat? Uh, what you think? Uh, 10 by 10, 47,000 tires. I think it's thicker too, it depends on the state and location. It might be this okay, thick. 10 by 10, 10 4,700 will be more likely. How many? 4,000? 4, 4,700 ground up tires in a 10 by 10. That's my guess. Yeah, that sounds like right, uh, about right. If you think about it, some in certain countries, they do about 10 inches to 5 inches thick. It keeps the road rays from falling apart. Our state is about two inches to three inches because they want to say tires. But I guess as the get we progress with tires, we had to get rid of them. So I guess they can make them thicker later on. Well, let's find out. We'll do the same research for us. 
We've got a second game. I think we're playing chicken with semi trucks. Yeah, I'm halfway in the middle of the road, but I can see him coming. Well, <laughs> since it's Kasachi National Forest, we're playing wild turkey with semi trucks. <sighs> kind of the same game. Look at he dirt. He's gonna get killed. What's that dirt? What's that dirt? Help me, dirt. Come on, giddy up. Buck, buck. You move first, Mr. Truck. <laughs> yeah, who's gonna win? Uh, the truck. I'm getting off in the grass. Okay. All right. Well, that's the question for the day. Let's see if somebody can find the answer for us. All right. I'm going to show you my bag and um, my stance. And uh, tell me if I my stance or whatever is wrong. Here you go. I want to give it to Bear. So what you think? Uh, is my stance? Right now, I've just got a little shoulder pain here. I had problems with the bars. Yep. I, I fixed that last night. So what is my stance? Is it straight? Is it good for you? Hey, uh, you're only slightly leaned over, which means your shoulder's taking some of the weight. So uh, any YouTubers seeing I have in my backpack wrong, let me know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm here to listen. Especially I'm doing ultra light. This is not ultra light. And I'm leaning over a little bit, like you said. Yeah, if, if your shoulders are taking the weight. All right, there you go. This is... Uh, Take a look at the bag real quick. Go on this side. Stay still. That's what you look like. You're leaned over a little bit. I'm only so. Uh, no. But we're, we we are on we are going downhill. Yeah, we are going downhill. Just uh, look over here on this side. Wow, my feet's level now. I don't know. Seems to be working. It's working. I just have a little problem here. I had a problem with the bars. I'll show you that later. You might want to add load lifter straps from the top of that frame. And yeah, this yeah, is load lifters, but not from the top of the frame. You can do, but then then your head hits it. Yeah, I pull this back. This is which is oh, that's what's hurting me. And I got one over here, and I pulled that. That's tight. I got this tight. I got this on, and I got the hip right. Having this on your hip helps. I took it off earlier. I'm like, oh no 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 no, put that back on. Put that back on. You you need it on. I'm going in the shade, sir. I don't know about you. Okay, and we're moving over, and this is another view. Beautiful sights, beautiful area. Like I said, I gave it a, a five stars, and each star represents a thing. Well marked trail. Uh, we talk about that later. All right, I'm good for the view. Well, this should have been our last little break we had right there. All right. Uh, Here's your view. And we're gonna have one more view when we get back to the truck. Maybe. Alright. See you in the next view. Alright, well, here's your another view. And we're almost to the truck. Almost. <laughs> we got another mile to go. Nah, oh, there's the sign. I see the sign. That's it. Oh, it's not even in the turn. It's right there. I see the sign. Oh, it's the wrong sign. <laughs> okay. Uh, motivation. <laughs> All right. We finally made it. According to the sun, it's about 8 o'clock. We're going to look at the time in a few minutes. So, if I'm not mistaken, if it's 8 o'clock... 9.05. Ah, I was right. I won. By an hour. Uh, you know what? Not the truck till 9.47. Yeah. So, here we getting closer to the end of our trail. You said 9? 9.05, sir. 9.05. Okay, so... 12, that's 6, okay, uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, that's 7, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 hours of walking, yay, yay, 12 hours is enough for any, give me my pressure, 12 miles is enough for a normal human being, anybody else done this would probably died of starvation, Oh. 
Oh, we're going to get some precious.